In this video, I'm going to teach you how to add integers. Adding integers might seem tricky at first, but in just a few minutes, you'll master it with ease. Let's dive straight in. First, grab a piece of paper and something to write with, and let's write down the definition of an integer. An integer is any number that belongs to the set of whole numbers and their negatives. This includes positive numbers starting from positive 1, negative numbers starting from negative 1, and 0. And if you still don't have an idea of what an integer is, let's observe integers using a number line. Starting from 0, the origin, the right side of the number line shows positive numbers, and the left side shows negative numbers. When we move to the right, the numbers become bigger, and if we move to the left, the numbers have a minus sign, which indicates that these numbers are less than zero, smaller than zero, and moving to the left, the numbers will start to become smaller. These numbers are positive numbers. And these, which have a minus sign or a negative sign, well, are negative numbers. Also, a tip to not confuse positive and negative numbers is to remember that positive numbers are on the right side of zero, and negative numbers are on the left side of zero. So now, let me erase these notes. By the way, I hope you are writing this down because definitions in math are very crucial. It's important to know as many definitions as possible. Don't forget that math is a language, and we sometimes need to know math definitions to help us solve problems. I have noticed one of the biggest reasons why many students fail in math is not knowing math concepts and definitions. Here are some steps that I highly recommend using when adding integers. These steps will not only help us solve problems, but are also important for avoiding silly mistakes. So the first step when adding integers is to first find the sign of the answer first. This sign can either be positive or negative. The next step is if we are adding two negatives, our answer will always be negative. Another step to look at in problems is when adding a negative and a positive. Take the sign of the integer that is farthest from zero and subtract. And the last step, which will help you avoid mistakes, is to always look at the problem given and group the negative and positive numbers separately. Then, just add the negative numbers and add the positive numbers. Now I will erase the steps, and I hope you wrote them down on a piece of paper. They will help you add integers, and remember, this is math. We can never approach math problems without having an idea of the first steps to take. So, let's practice adding integers. Let's write down the first practice problem, and we will take a look at our steps to see which step we can take. As you can see, we are adding two negatives, and for sure, our final answer has to be a negative number. So, we can group these two negative numbers and add, giving us 12. Here is another problem. Let's solve negative 7 plus 9. Our answer will be positive 2. This is step 3. Here. 9 is farthest from 0, or we can simply take the sign of the bigger number. When we add a negative and a positive, we subtract and take the sign of the bigger number. On this one, we've got negative integers, so let's group them and add. Negative 6 and negative 5 will give us negative 11. Plus 4, and take the sign of the bigger number, that will be negative 7. Let's keep practicing, and we'll move on to some harder problems. Now try this problem, write it down, pause the video, and solve it yourself. Just follow the steps. Okay, first we see the negative integers. We group them and add. Negative 8 and negative 6 will give us negative 14. Now let's add the positive integers. 
15 plus 12 is 27. Now we're adding a negative and a positive, so we subtract. Negative 14 plus 20 is positive 13. Once again, we're adding a negative and a positive, so let's subtract and take the sign of the bigger number. Subtract 15 from 29, and that will be 14. For positive numbers, we don't need to add the plus sign. We just know it's there. Here's another problem, adding two negatives. What happens when we add two negatives? That's right. When adding two negatives, it will always be negative. Our answer is negative 18. Now try this problem, adding a positive and a negative. We take the sign of the bigger number, which is negative 56, and subtract. 56 minus 42 is 14, but remember the sign. Our final answer is negative 14. Now, if you're enjoying adding integers, please like this video and leave a comment. I can't thank you enough for that. Here is another similar problem. We're adding a negative integer and a positive integer, so we subtract and take the sign of the bigger number. Since the bigger number is positive, our final answer will also be positive. Let's subtract 76 minus 39. We can't subtract 9 from 6, so we borrow from the 7. Now, 16 minus 9 is 7, and 6 minus 3 is 3. Our final answer is 37, and we don't need to write the positive sign. Now, work on this other problem. Let's group the negative numbers and add. Ninety-six and seventy-two will give us one hundred sixty-eight, but our final answer is negative one hundred sixty-eight because we were adding two negatives. Now, work on this problem. Negative eighty-nine plus twenty-seven plus negative seventy-six. Let's start by grouping the negative numbers together and adding. Eighty-nine plus seventy-six gives us one hundred sixty-five, so the result is negative one hundred sixty-five because we're adding two negatives. Next, add twenty-seven to negative one hundred sixty-five. One hundred sixty-five minus twenty-seven is one hundred thirty-eight, and since one hundred sixty-five is negative, the final answer is negative one hundred thirty-eight. Next, solve for negative eighty-six plus seventy-three. We're adding a negative and a positive, so we take the sign of the bigger number which is negative 86. Now, subtract 86 minus 73, which is 13th. So, our final answer is negative 13. Now let me erase this. I need some space to write more fun problems. Now try solving this problem. Negative 9 plus 6 plus negative 4 and plus 3. First, group the negatives and add them. Negative 9 plus negative 4 equals negative 13. Next, group the positive numbers and add them. 6 plus 3 equals 9. Now, since we are adding a negative number and a positive number, we subtract. Take the sign of the bigger number, which is negative. The final answer is negative 4. Now pause the video and try to solve this problem. Group the negatives, negative 16 and negative 18. Let's add them. Eight plus six is 14, carry the one, and that makes 34. So, the result is negative 34. Take the sign of the bigger number, which is negative 34. This gives us a final answer of negative 2. Practice makes perfect, so let's keep working on more problems. Try this problem. By now, you should be pretty good at adding integers. I have a question for you. What's the first thing you should do in this problem? 
the first thing you should do is group the negatives and add them. Negative 32 plus negative 17 is negative 49. Now, let's group the positives. 16 plus 8 is 24. Take this out of the bigger number and subtract. Negative 49 plus 24 equals negative 25. Let's erase these and practice some more problems. By the end of this video, you'll be a master at adding integers. Solve this one. By the way, don't get me wrong when I say take the sign of the bigger number, ignore the signs at first, compare the numbers, and then use the sign of the larger one. Negative 16 plus negative 18 plus 72 plus negative 12. First, group the negatives. Negative 16 plus negative 18 equals negative 34, and negative 34 plus negative 12 equals negative 46. Add 72 and take the sign of 72 because it's the biggest number, the number farther away from zero. The final answer will be positive. Now, subtract 46 from 72. You cannot subtract from the 2, so borrow from the 7. 12 minus 6 is 6, and 6 minus 4 is 2. The final answer is 26. Now, erase the positive sign. Well, you made it to the end. Now it's time to go and nail that exam. Let me know how you did in your exam. Thanks for watching.